How about this, Mary? Off the top. Oh, how about a little tap on the pillow on that backside three that we did not see? Oh, my goodness. And look at that. I think that this run is an exhibition of what a natural selection run should be. Ben Ferguson just hit it out of the park on this. Indeed. I mean, the backside 180 into this absolutely perfect cork switch backside five. Who wants them? Oh, my goodness. This is Ben Ferguson doing what Ben Ferguson does on Scary Cherry. I mean, this is this is a moment. For sure. One Ferg to another. Ben Ferguson versus Austin Sweeten. <laughs> this is going to be sweet. Ben Ferguson, of course, coming in uh, to Jackson. Been wrestling with a knee injury. It was kind of questionable whether or not he would come, but feels like he's he's just there and is excited to see if he can take it to the top. Yeah, so last year, actually, last summer, I had to get surgery on my knee, um, just like a little meniscus repair. I was on crutches for like six weeks this summer and spent a lot of time like in the gym. Actually, Red Bull's got like really great facilities and they took really good care of me coming in with really good PTs and trying to get the knee back up and running. And it's feeling really good right now. It gets sore every once in a while still, but I think it'll be ready to go. For me personally to win this thing, I think I just gotta like stay consistent, ride good lines, kind of try to mix it up. Like don't get trapped in the same run over and over again, be able to be fluid and uh, yeah, just have fun and hang out. Incredible second place performance last year. I saw you got to spend some time with Ben this past summer as he was in uh, Southern California at, at Red Bull doing the rehab and he was diligent coming to California for weeks at a time making that knee a priority. And you're going to see how strong this kid is now. If you've never seen Ben Ferguson ride before, this is what he's all about. Starting things off the big old method into a huge front side three. Unbelievable. Well, and what's got to be going through his head after seeing his brother lay down the third highest score of the day just now? So Ferg kind of dipping into the trees there. And this is a unique line. I don't know if we've seen this line before. Ben was talking about how he's going to be very strategic coming into this year's event. Second place in Jackson, second in Alaska. That is a backside seven. One of the best we've seen today, Ben Ferguson came to win. I'd say that's the biggest win of the second half of the Yeah. Oh, I thought I was landing on rocks. Ah. He, he saw what Austin was, was, was capable of, just really missed putting together a full pull. Oh, absolutely. With what Austin Sweeten is capable of on any given day, if I'm Ben Ferguson, my foot is on the gas and not coming up until I'm in the finish corral. But I kind of think Ben's always got his foot on the gas, regardless of where he's sitting. Yeah, you're right in that. A lot of switch here. Switch back five. Ben Ferg came to play. That was unbelievable. That was incredible. Those trees up there are so tight, too. They are not spaced out very far. Well, he just saw what happened to his brother with Sage, and he does not want to open the door to Austin. And let's not lose uh, sight of the flow that he's putting on somehow or another through this death snow, making it look like he's riding freshies. If there's one thing these conditions are doing, it's showing how powerful this kid is on his snowboard. Backside seven, and he goes down. But that was an absolutely incredible run from Ben Ferguson. How, how was it, Ben? That was exciting. That was a freaking rowdy run you just had there, buddy. Leg burner. Holding on for dear life the whole time. It's great. Yeah, well, you kill it. That switchback five off the top was one of the most beautiful things that I've ever seen. Were you able to watch little bros run? I was. I was hyped. He was very close to nailing it down, but I left the door open a little bit. He was just down here. He actually he said he's got two goals. One, beat Sage, and then beat big bro. Yeah. What do you think of that? I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. It's rad to have you both out here, the brothers, the Fergusons. Nice run. Best of luck. So close. See you, man. Like 
Ben Ferguson is here to win? I think the first couple of runs people do, with the snow being the way it is, will be pretty off the gas pedal. Like last year, after doing that contest and seeing like what you could do, if the snow had been the same coming into this year, I think the level would have just like skyrocketed because everybody would have known the speed and it would have been dialed. But this year, since the snow conditions are a little more rough, it's going to be a little bit more rowdy getting to and fro in the course, like getting feature to feature and riding away clean from some of these landings. So. I think it'll be a little less technical, but who knows what'll happen, man. Yeah, boy. All right, stand by. Three, two, one. You ready? Oh, oh, have fun, bud. Give her. Jared Elston said that this round, this heat right here, is an unstoppable force versus an immovable object. Frontside five off the toes. Look at the pop on that. Ben going down in the landing. Well, you heard him say, first runs, everyone's going full gas, including him. And what's interesting about how Ben approaches this course as he throws a massive backside 360 off a of booster shot is it's what Ben does in between. It's how he looks in between the features. He is very fluid and sure on his feet. Straight air to the bottom, little butter back three out there that was a nice little uh, correction save save yeah absolutely yeah that, that front side five is the top of that's a high stakes open isn't it yeah he's gonna he's gonna pose himself isn't he back for the next round after that you can see what he's trying to do We are going to see if we can force some more free snowboarding mm. into our lives. With the conditions changing, Ben wow. does have the power. Front five off the toes. Went for it again. Not able to ride out clean, but continuing on. Backside 360. As he dips down into that tree band there. There there is. is that signature Ben Ferguson method. There is a more beauty, a more iconic method in snowboarding right now. I'm not sure there is really. As we're on board with the drone and that GoPro 10 perspective, that landing is getting more and more challenging. Frontside 360, and yeah, he just landed in a little bit of chunder. And you know, when you when you when, when you see those landings, you see someone like Ben go down in those landings. This is yep. a, he's got the power and the ability to suck up pretty much anything. When he goes down that casually on the three, yeah. then yeah. Yeah. Yeah, line selection. Ben Ferguson, second place in both Alaska and Jackson Hole. Last season, he loves Scary Cherry. He's someone who likes to go fast. Let's get his perspective. Yeah, so pre-event, it was definitely, like, kind of shook. The course is crazy. The first day, we got a scope, but there's so many options, it's a little bit overwhelming. Um, but had a couple lines I was thinking about trying, and then definitely, like, lots of nerves the night before. Was having crazy dreams. Um, but, yeah, like, super excited. Had a good plan, and then I guess it got pushed, so we're chilling. Got to look at it again and feeling better now. Uh, this course is way different than the Jackson Hole course. It's uh, much steeper pitch up at the top, kind of some blind rollers in there. You're not exactly sure where you're entering into the line. Um, and yeah, it's a different beast. It's steeper, it's bigger, it's probably longer. There are a bunch of hits in it. Um, maybe it's a little less freestyle, a little more like line riding. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to give it a whirl. You don't get any, like, extra unnecessary flair or sauce from Ben when he's describing snowboarding. No, and I think that's just like his riding itself. It's, it's powerful, it's strong, and it's, it's beautiful in how it's economical. And you see him right here opening up with a half cab at the top of the course. He makes his way down to a second hit. Backside 360 and holding on to the landing in that little bit of packed snow up there. 
Love that the riders are mic'd so you get a sense of how they're feeling with a nice big method. As Ben is flying into this left hand side of the course. Look at the speed. Just opening up an entirely new section too. Finding a really natty hit and going deep. Back to back straight airs as he comes to the guts. Just like he said, you know, this was gonna be a little bit less freestyle for him. As he goes down on that last hit, he definitely treated it more like a big mountain line. Big bad Ben Ferguson. You know that he wants to make it into the semifinals. And to that end, he starts things off with a lofty half cab right at the top of the course. And into a huge backside three. I think he held on to that one. I think he did too. A little shifty. And he's heading down. Oh. Whoa! Let me just chuck a mid face front side three. Transfer, that was dirty. The judges are making many annotations right now about that Ooh. one. Oh, a beautiful little poked out back one. And a really sick switchback five, just corking that out right there, going off axis. Oh, the kid came to play. A little stale fish to boot at the end. Wow, you can see he is happy with that one. That was a very solid run from the man from Bend, Oregon. A pure flamboyant display of snowboarding. You know, the mix of technical trickery with that just so loose. classic Ben Ferg style never disappoints. Ben Ferg in visual mode. Front side air, poking it out off of that first hit, sticking down to that center of the course. Backside 360. Ooh, getting a little cut up, but holding on there. This becomes that part of the day where it's about surviving the landings. Oh, beautiful front side five. Oh, just not landing it though. Oh, that was that was full Tommy Hawk right there. And this is where that body mic, you can hear, you know, he's out of breath, breathing heavily. Reinforcing that strength that it takes and that endurance to, to get down this face again and do it with such style like Ferg has. Yeah, that ability to recover. Throw a little late backside 180 there, unable to make the landing, but it still looked pretty. But I'm guessing after Mickel's run, that for Ferguson, he's going to be thinking about what to do in run two, because run one definitely goes to Mickel. Definitely, I agree. Ferg's gonna really wanna pull from his reserves. He's gonna need a great run. Little tranny finder up at the top right there. Picking his way down to this next spot. Whoa, backside seven. Oh, going oh, down. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He oh looks to God. be okay. That was the heaviest ragdoll. And if you could not tell before just how critical this pitch is on Scary Cherry. We just bought, watched Ben Ferguson just literally ragdoll like someone had thrown a toy onto the course. I mean, so much respect and admiration for him. First for sending a back seven like that, and then right now for the grace with which he is navigating the bottom part of that course after that situation. You go, that was man. the best ragdoll I've ever had in my life. <laughs> You gotta oh, love that he can that smile and be like, that was the best ragdoll oh, yeah. I've ever had. Yes. And 
run of the day goes to a natural selection veteran, Mr. Ben Ferguson out of Bend, Oregon, putting down his effortless and technical style on Scary Cherry. Highest score of the day with this backside 360 with the nose tap on that pillow tower, which we didn't realize until we saw it in slow motion. He absolutely attacked this thing ferociously. And that 360 in the middle of his run, I mean, that was just phenomenal. Yeah, Ferguson was in the zone. And this is when you get to watch, you know, a really talented rider with just pure joy. Totally. This run showed us what natural selection is encapsulated in one top to bottom go. Standing next to that fluttering planet Earth flag, it's the man out of Bend, Oregon, a precision pipe rider, Ben Ferguson. Getting on tour and coming to all the stops and making it to Alaska is a, you know, feat in itself. So I'm hyped to be here. Definitely like this kind of terrain, like the big steep stuff. And I think I'll, I got a pretty good chance up there. So, I mean, it's crazy. It's this big, scary place and you're flying around in a helicopter and, you know, the, the whole thing is like nerve gripping, you know, kind of puckered up the whole time. Feel it in your stomach when the heli starts chopping around and, and then you're like competing on top of that. So that adds a whole nother like element to the nerves as well. Yeah, winning in Alaska, I think it would just be like the most badass thing you could do. You know, it's kind of like the the beefiest tour stop. It would be kind of the, you know, and I'll be all. You said it, Ed, Ben is one of the most experienced riders here in AK, but he's one of the younger riders too, only 26 years old. What's interesting, they're both on Burton as well. Mikel's on that custom, Ben opting for the one of the family tree line, the hometown hero. It's really aggressive taper on it. So it's definitely gonna limit his switch capability on this face, but he's coming in. Totally different intensity to Mikel. Like you can see the energy, the drive he's putting into this. Yeah, he was really energetic on that top section and then opening up this new rider's left area. Okay, and now he comes on. We called it before that bowling ball section and he's coming in with speed. He knows where he is. And there's got to be the benefit of riding this face in 2021. Good steep terrain and you can see him working over this spine now. Ben really has that combination of power and playfulness. And I think it's, it's very impressive to see that on his first drop or heading toward that. A massive drop. Don't forget that the drone footage also kind of compresses things a little bit, that that is very big and even steeper than it looks to us. And that second drop there straight off the nose. And he's right up on the end of that one. He has to get that speed right. He tranny finds perfectly. Wow. Beautiful backside 360. That was a phenomenal end to that run. I mean, that really capitalized on that second section of his line. He came in very, very strong. I mean, that energy, that explosiveness, this explosiveness, excuse me, that he entered into his run with, I expect we're gonna see that and then some for this one. Okay, same again, heading out to the left-hand side here. And he's, look at the speed he's carrying already. Like, there's no brakes at all through this first section. Yeah, he is just motoring method off of that first drop. But you keep in the back of your mind that, that all of these riders now know since Baldface that switch riding, any combos of tricks that link 180s, 540s are gonna score really highly. And I'd love to see Ben starting to sniff around some of those combos. And we know he's capable of it. Like his switch McTwist in his pipe run was a thing of beauty. It was the sort of crowning figurehead at the end of that run. Okay, here he comes into that drop section. I mean, that's a massive drop right there. Oh, and he's carrying speed through there. Oh. Stalled a tiny bit, but new nose, opening up some fresh terrain. Oh! Wow! And that was a little, the landing was a little bit too flat for the ambition of the jump. Huge oh, back three. Massive three. Wow, getting that around, that was enormous. So a huge run, a little bit loose, 
but very, very impressive nonetheless. Opening up fresh terrain as well. We know that that starts to max out the creativity bar from the judges. Completely. They really want to see that. I mean, there's also that risk challenge of that because no one has written that. You don't have a good sense of exactly, you know, what the landings are like, what you're going to be dropping into in that situation. Okay, so at the moment, Ben Ferguson sat on a 78, Mikel Bang on a 70. Mikel stepped it up, but he did it in a line that he'd already tasted. 77 for Mikel. It's one point shy of Ben Ferguson. So the result is reversed from the finals last year. Ben Ferguson will advance to the semi finals. Wow, that was uh, kind of the definition of a nail biter right there. And we saw that in bold face. He pulled out that samurai sword of a frontside 360 oh, yeah. mid face. Interesting, he's using that same in point that we saw from Marion and Dustin Craven. Easy backside 360 right there. He windmilled it, didn't he? Just let all of the cadence carry him. So smooth and just effortless looking. So coming out right onto the left-hand side of this venue, working his way down spine number six. And looking light on his feet oh. there. Just making a very technical spine look playful. <laughs> As he rolls up to this crux point, he's heading out right onto the edge here and make wow. no mistake, there is exposure off the backside of that. He is setting a flag right now. What oh. an interesting and pretty incredible line choice. Yeah, but it's we've said it so many times, it's Big Mountain, where's the freestyle? Oh, there it 360. is. 360, that was enormous. Big front three nose bone, stale fish oh, onto that transition beautiful. perfectly. Just find that landing just so perfectly. Oh, and this is so graceful. Beautiful, elegant riding from Ben Ferguson. Hacks into that big turn and lets out a scream of elation at the bottom. Wow, I mean, he is just looking over his shoulder at Travis Rice right now saying, hey, it's on, it's on. And there was that crouch. You see that when he does his carve and butter runs through the pipe, he got low. Looks like a stingray in full flight. <laughs> wow. And that's no sympathy cheer from the crowd no. at the bottom. They're celebrating this one. That was classic Ferg right there. That was a beautiful run. What? That? It's... You've got to check yourself and put this run in context for a second. That was a contest run. It's not a film run. Okay, so it looks like he's going to take that same line in through that little shot there. Lovely transfer oh, into a rock wow, ride. Wow, that was... Awesome. You can just hear the tail dragging down that rock. And just snagging a back three right there before heading into this long stretch. Well, we know that Travis put seven tricks into this, so that's exactly what Ben's thinking. I've got to up this trick count. Yeah, he's got his work cut out for him, but he, you know, is one that can really tackle that challenge. And it's so inviting when you look away to your right into the shaded side here, but he knows if he gives in to temptation and ends up on that side of the face, then you end up in the gully and all the features dry up. So he's staying high up on this spine. Beautiful little poke off the nose of that rock. And front side seven, oh. putting that down just <laughs> so well. Oh, into a beautiful back one. Oh, and he just sat down, I think, and had to revert that one out. What a run again! We've seen another breathtaking run. Just the level of consistency these riders are putting oh, in. Look at that frontside hack too, that was awesome. Just a detonation on that last little feature there. And at the behest of the crowd down at the bottom, he throws in a little butter. Mikel Bang, Dustin Craven, straight in with the high fives. Yeah. Wow, that front seven. <laughs> heavy, heavy hits and the backside 180 Japan down at the bottom. And now we are gonna get into the men's top three. It was an unbelievable battle. Eight dudes, three came out on top. In third place, you just saw him win a custom MR surfboard from Bend, Oregon, Mr. Ben Ferguson. Yeah.